case goes about. Senegal Rubber Estate Limited holds substantial liquid assets. However, the company had no business. Aya! How? I got so many stocks, but no business. Oh my god! My cash now very limited. Die la, die la. Cradle wished to acquire the company. Cradle standing at the side thinking. Hey, now the company is going to be liquidity. It's easier to acquire its stocks. <laughs> so he got a mature bank contango to help him make a bid for the share of the company. Cradle went to the bank. Today is my big day, yeah? <laughs> Hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah. So, I need your help to make the bit of a share of a company, can or not? Can now? Why? Uh, yeah, I want to become the big one, la, like the Big Mac. Big Mac, so big, you know, not big one. I control the company. Okay, Mr. Crack Dog. <laughs> On the next day, Bank went to the company. I would like to make a bit. Everyone, please vote. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> The bid is a success, and 79% of the shareholder accepted the bid. Yes, then it's successful. Yes, uh, <laughs> I finally become the big man. <laughs> big man. Congrats! He then made a puppet on board to cause the company to lend £232,500 to a company called Woodstock, which then lent the money to him. Cradock then paid the money to Content group to cover the cost of turnover, which amounts to 195,000 pounds. This net result of company money lent to Credoc through Woodstock in order to enable him to acquire the shares of the company was clearly a breach of Section 76 CA. Hello, hey, Papet, are you? Hey, Papet, I tell something. I'm now the big man of the company. Oh. From now on, call me Mr. Big Man. Don't call me Mr. Crab Dog, I tell you. Ah. Hey, Big Man. Hey, but I need your help. Ah. Ah, okay, I owe okay. money. Ah. Okay. You, you go to the board, right? Ask them to lend money to this company called Woodstock. Oh, no problem. Who we'll stop? Ah? Okay, who we'll stop? Ah? Yeah. No stop, who ah? No we'll stop. Okay, who we'll stop? Okay, okay. <laughs> Morning. Papa had discussed with the boss and the company delivered the money to Woodstock. Hey yo, Mr. Big Man, I tell you very very good news, huh? The loan has been made to Woodstock. So everything is now under our control. Oh ha 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 ha. I did not borrow the fund directly from Sungong Rubber Estate. I borrowed from the Woodstock Wak, right, right, right? Where got wrong? You, Mr. Craig Dog, you have made use of your right as a majority shareholder and made the company 
lend funds to Woodstock, which in turn lend the money to you. This action of yours has caused, has caused the company to indirectly lend you funds to acquire the company's shares. You are in breach of Section 76, Subsection 1 of Companies Act. According to this textbook, it is stated that the general rule under Section 76, Subsection 1 of Companies Act, a company is prohibited from giving financial support to any person, whether directly or indirectly, for the purpose of acquisition of its own shares or shares in its holding company. What do you have to say? Sorry la boss, this is my first time, please give me a chance, please la. Hey friend, what's your language? I'm not your boss, I'm the judge. Please la boss. First time not excuse, bring him out. Come. Please la, I still got my wife, my kid. Bring him out, chan la. 